so uh, a while ago, I can't even remember how long ago, it seems like ages, uh, some scientists got together and made a decision without consulting uh, the rest of us, which happens from time to time. Uh, this particular decision was about uh, the planet Pluto. <laughs> Uh, which, if you don't, if you haven't heard the news, sit down. Uh, Pluto is not, in fact, a planet. Pluto is a dwarf planet. I know. And you know, the funny thing is, there was no such thing as a dwarf planet before they decided that Pluto was one. Which is not so nice. Um, inventing a category just so you can demote someone. That's not that's not great. You know what, Jerry? I'm gonna make you sub-vice president. Uh, anyway, I felt bad for Pluto, as I think we all did. And uh, so did Pluto's Moon Charon, who wrote this love song for Pluto. Sort of a cheer-up message. Uh, uh, Pluto and Charon are actually very similar in size as far as planets and moons go. They also revolve around each other. This is true. Unique in our solar system. Uh, the center of their orbit is actually between the two of them. So it's very hard to say that one is the uh, stationary object and the other is the satellite. Which might make for a nice metaphor for a song, perhaps. Uh, 